right about it. Number one, the tuition free proposal requires all the states to pay a third of their match. And I don't think California can afford it. You're doing everything you can to hang on to your colleges now. And there's 30 states with Republican governors and legislators who don't want to do it. And I know Connecticut, Rhode Island, and New York, three states that in my neck of the woods who have Democratic governance don't think they can afford it. If you had debt free, you could give everybody free tuition, not just at public schools, but at schools that are private, that have a lot of first and second generation immigrants, historically black colleges and universities, schools that deal with a lot of working class families and their children. Give it to the people who need it, give them a big increase in Pell Grants, that's Hillary's idea, and then let people start paying a little when they can, and if they're caught in the middle, give millions, we're talking about a large number of people, the chance to work 10 hours a week with work study money, that will give them money and help actually hold down the cost of college, which is a big problem for everybody. Now, if you do that, you can actually construct a model that could be fully paid for by the federal budget, let everybody out debt free. The bigger problem right now is the debt that's already been run up. You all agree with that? Yeah. I mean, everywhere I go, it's all people want to talk about. Okay, so here's her position on this. Number one, a college loan is the only loan you cannot refinance. That's insane. Yeah. It's wrong. So if she proposes to let everybody refinance their college loan, that alone would save 25 million young Americans two thousand dollars. Number two, the average college loan is about $25,000. You know, it changes from the time she made this proposal 14 months ago, but you can, you get the idea. So she proposes that everybody should have two options to deal with the debt they got. One, if you're willing to do two years in an AmeriCorps program and one year in any other kind of community service, you would get tax-free, over and above your income, $23,000 plus to just throw against the debt and get rid of it. <laughs> Two, if you can't do it or it's not enough, because let's say you went to med school or something, you owe 200 grand, you should have the option to turn it into something that looks like and works like a home mortgage. Think about it, everybody in this crowd today under 30 has a legitimate chance to live to be 100 and without the threat of Alzheimer's or other dementia because of the advances in biomedical science. If you believe that, an education is much more of a lifetime asset than any home you'll ever buy.